With Nuke 12.2, we wanted to continue ongoing support and incremental improvements to the data you can access and work within Nuke and Nuke Studio, so we've implemented a number of updates to some key file formats based on user feedback. Quick times are at the core of many workflows, so we've implemented a new unified MOV reader and writer that replaces the previous 32-bit and 64-bit versions with a more stable and performant system for working with quick times on all platforms. This update introduces broader QuickTime codec support, including H.264 on Linux, Windows, and Mac. Support for 32-bit applications, including those Nuke used to work with QuickTime, was removed by Apple from macOS Catalina. But with this new unified MOV reader and writer, users will have a wider choice of codecs with easier and more consistent behavior without the need for any deprecated third-party software. We have updated both Red and Sony SDKs to the latest camera version, which allows artists to work with their latest camera footage. The latest Red SDK update also provides improved workflows and greater control over Red files, with simple things such as default swapping from an IPP2 image pipeline model to a legacy model, depending on if you're working with newer or older camera sensors. Under the DMOSAIC group, a chroma noise reduction feature is available at higher decoding resolutions, full high or high, which is typically set within the camera data, and a denoise feature for lower decoding resolutions. The grading group allows users to now load in a CDL and enable or disable for a more intuitive workflow that allows you to quickly see your image as accurately as possible. For more advanced users, there is also a new IPP2 custom model, which disables the grading group intentionally and in the primary group gives you full control over your color space and gamma curve, something which is not typically controllable in a standard IPP2 image pipeline. Nuke Studio, Hero and Hero Player will now support the reading and playback of AAC encoded audio tracks, and this builds on the work introduced in 12.1 that allowed for MOV containers holding audio to be imported in Linux and Windows, removing the need to extract and import the audio as a separate WAV file. This work is in a large part due to feedback provided from users showing that the majority of audio tracks from editorial references and used in review are AAC codecs and we wanted to make sure that we extended our file format support to provide the best review workflow possible. In Nuke 12.1, we included support for exporting DNxHR codecs wrapped in MXF, and this functionality has now been added to Nuke Studio. So in 12.2, DNxHR wrapped in MOV or MXF can be written out across the Nuke family, including directly from Nuke Studio, allowing you to create high-res HR proxies or deliverables from each of the applications directly. By furthering our support for existing data formats and bringing consistency across the applications, it makes transitioning between our compositing, editorial, and review workflows that much simpler.